everybody in the whole house. Wake up, wake up, wake up. 31 seconds, and we're gone for auto sequence start. The young must know it. The old must know it. T minus 10 seconds. I, I can't believe that it's real. I can't believe that it's happening. My name is Jake Lures, Jacob Lures, um, and I'm the front man of a uh, metal band called August Burns Red. I would say the most important experience in my life is um, the fact that I met um, Jesus, legitimately met him. You can have all that, okay? But it's not gonna fill your heart. It, it isn't, and it won't. And I know this because I've tried it. I wasn't raised in a Christian home. Um, I never was you know, told to go to church or forced to go to church. I did everything I possibly could to um, make my band and I, I just was building this this uh, life that I wanted you know and I really believed in myself and and I believed in it and, and it was really all that I had it was the only way that I could feel appreciated respected honored loved cared about you know and and um, and then when that was taken from me um, I fell into this deep like spiral of depression where I just uh, I just didn't feel like living was worth anything, and I would I would look towards uh, you know sex and 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 drinking and and all these ways to try to fill this void in my heart, this emptiness that I had, and um, I would do it repeatedly, and then I realized that um, I just wanted to kill myself, and I figured. What's the point of living a life where there's no feeling? Where you're just numb? And you don't feel anything from anyone? And what you're doing isn't getting you anywhere. And I walk outside and I light up a cigarette and I... I don't want to say I challenged God, but I wanted to see His face. And I said, God, if you're real, Jesus, if you're real, and um, and I didn't mean that lightly in a, in, a, in, a, in a nice way. I meant like everyone likes you and talks about you and everyone says that their lives change and honestly I just think that's a load of crap. But if you're real, then you need to show me because if you don't want my life, my creator, if you don't want my life, then nobody does. So you need to be real with me right now. And sure enough, I had like the most amazing feeling just hit my soul, like hit my body, just like this feeling I've never felt from anybody or anything, you know, or, and, and, and I couldn't stop but smile. I just, I couldn't stop smiling because I knew right then and there that my life was going to change and that Jesus is real and God is real and and you know everybody expects God to just split the clouds and and say here I am it's not how it works you know I mean everybody wants that you know but that's not the way he works and we have he has so many ways of connecting with us in his own way that's different from many others you know that's why we all have a story you know but um, I walked back into that apartment and I still had heart, heart issues. I still had alcohol like as a problem. I still had sex as a problem. I still had these problems. I still was alone but I wasn't because I had him now and I knew that he was going to change my life. I knew that if I just believed in him and I knew that this feeling that I got was not just something that I created in my own mind and I and I honestly believe in him 
that I can that that I that I'm going to be okay. That that he he is taking my life. And I didn't know how to pray. Uh, I didn't really get the best education. I'm not the smartest man in the world, so it was very difficult for me to read the Bible. I couldn't. It was hard for me to understand what God was trying to tell me, but I knew that that's where I had to start. And 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 so this this moment with God um, completely changed who I was going to be, and that's just the beginning of where I am now. He answers prayers. I know this. And sometimes when he answers the, our prayers, it's not necessarily the way we want them to be answered. But it's not our logic, it's his logic. And it's not our will, it's his will that we want to live by. When I was younger, I would pray to God, you know. I and I'd get drunk and I'd pray to God and I and, and, and I wanted so, I, I deeply wanted that personal relationship with God so much that I was like, you know what, God? I was I was hammered. I was like, God, I'm not going to call you God anymore. Everybody likes to call you God. I'm going to call you John. So when I would talk to God, I would call him John. And, and you know, that was a good feeling. And, and, I, and I don't doubt that God wasn't listening. But my relationship with John wasn't really growing. And then when I gave my life to Jesus, that's when I actually felt God. And, and my relationship started to grow. And myself started to change. And because, I, because I, I've seen Jesus work in my life, I know that He's real. And uh, I mean, there's so many, there's so many ways that He um, has, has my heart. It's, uh, it's just, it's, he's all I care about. He's all I, he's all I want. Like, um, I just want to do right here on earth by him and, and just walk with him. I feel like I was created to just walk with God. I want everyone to, to know Jesus the way I know him because it's, it's such strength and love and, um, restoration to my spirit and I don't care who you are I don't care what your beliefs are um, my belief is that we all have spirits and we all um, can make the decisions that we make but that at the end of at the end of everything there is a God and there there is a Satan there is evil and there's good and your spirit is going to go to one of those places inside with one of those you can only serve one master and I chose Jesus it's funny because a kid came up to me once or he said to me once he said how do you believe in God when you haven't seen him and I said I believe in God not because I've seen him but because I know him and that is the point. It's the relationship with Jesus. It's the relationship with God. It's giving yourself to Him, having faith and knowing that God knows what's best for you and that He'll always provide and He'll lead you. You know, as long as you let Him, if you let Him in and you, you give your heart to Him, uh, he, can, he can work wonders. What I've learned a lot recently is that um, things, horrible things can happen to us. Um, and a horrible thing, horrible things have happened to me. And what I've realized is that um, God makes everything good and that you can learn and that He wants you to, when times are tough, go to Him and He will, he will explain and He will open your eyes and He'll give you clarity and He will show you things. Um, but if you don't grow with Him, then th that's not possible. Uh, don't ever walk away from him, um, and 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 don't let the hurt and the pain overcome your faith, because sometimes that hurt and pain is used to build your faith. I wish for Germany to really understand what Christmas is, and and. To really understand the 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 
the pivotal point of that day, what it started for us as mankind, you know, what it started for, for us as having, um, leading to having a relationship that means so much to so many people and to God himself. I think that that's what I would wish. Um, and I don't mean go to church and I don't mean do all this ritualistic stuff and all these traditions. I mean just sit in front of your fireplace and and ask God who Jesus is and and ask yourself, you know, can I can I give him a chance?